Welcome back to Waffle TV sponsored by Westbeer. We are here in Pleasant Stone with Gary Beadle's star on Banksy, The Room and the Elephant. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about the show? Yeah, it's a show, it's a play, a story about, um, a true story about um, a gentleman who lived in a water tank by the side of the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway near Malibu, and took residence in it <coughs> and uh, made it his home with mosaic floors, lighting. He had TV reception in there, he had a security camera system that he fitted up, all these things. He collected trash and made it into his own and learned how to kind of be resourceful. And uh, it was very well known in the community. He had a lot of the help from the community, this guy. <coughs> his name is T'Challa Covington. And then Banksy came along uh, during the Oscar season uh, with Exit through the gift shop and uh, obviously didn't turn up to the ceremony, but ventured towards this water tank that sort of resembled um, an elephant to the artistic eye, because it had this like tailpipe coming out, and it was like this in the distance. And decided to stencil the words, this looks a bit like an elephant on the side. Thus, you know, bringing all the world press to, the, you know, to descend onto this, this piece of art, which was actually an art before, it was actually created by T'Challa. Um, and um, the local authorities consequently took it, repossessed it, leaving uh, to Chubba Covington, who lived in it, homeless. And he lived in it for seven and a half years. So this play is about the character, to Chubba's character, who we've renamed Titus Co Coventry, who I play. It's a story about him breaking into the holding center where they're holding this tank. The tank's not being sold, nobody wants to buy it. And he has a rant on YouTube. So it's a one-man show, him telling the story. And uh, very funny, tragic moments, but essentially a uh, very gripping, gripping true story. Now you mentioned there that this this is a one man show, yes. and this is your first one man show, isn't it? You, Certainly is. You've yeah. done a lot of done a lot of TV dramas. I think yeah. people will know you for that, Extenders, yeah. and then probably City and Casualty, yeah. and so yeah. on. How is this different? How does it differ in terms of the acting and well, preparation? Well, I, I I love theatre, mm. and uh, you know I love theatre, I love the TV, I love film, <laughs> but I, I love theatre, I love the process of theatre, uh, the subtext, getting underneath uh, what the character's actually saying, and, and being basically given more time to sort of like organically grow. Whereas I think in TV, it's, uh, I mean, no offense, but it's very instant. And I'm not really good at instant, you know, I'm, a, I'm an old boiler and I take a little while to warm up, <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, so yeah, it's, uh, that's, that's the, the major difference for me. And it suits me more because I like to get deep into something. And uh, this particular project uh, required me to do that. So I'm enjoying every single minute. The, the, the play itself, it gives a really fascinating insight into themes like homelessness and this almost pantheism, this interconnectedness with the world and God and nature. What do you think is the most significant message? I think the most significant message is, um, it's, it's, it's sort of like a, it's a linear that runs all the way through the play actually. It's, um, it's, it's, it's a, a message of self-awareness. And, 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 and concluding to a moment where you think, actually, my, my wants aren't as important as my needs. I think that's the moral of the story. And, you know, you're talking about a man who's resourceful, you know, he's like, um, you know, he's an explorer, you know, and he knows how to make something out of nothing. I mean, he actually says that line in the play. So, you know, I think the story is really to, to, to sh the actual moral of the story is, um, is to put your your needs before your wants. And I don't think anyone's really encouraged to do that in this modern way we're living, you know. Everything's so disposable, we want, we want, we want. What we actually need is, uh, is almost forgotten. And it's, uh, it's a play about going back to basics, in that sense, yeah. It really, it really is phenomenal. And is, are there any plans to go beyond the fringe, to take it somewhere else in mm. the country? Good question. <laughs> um, anyone out there watching? No, we, yeah, we've had um, a few, uh, quite a few offers yeah. that I can't really talk about. Yeah. But I, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be playing in London at some point yeah. um, in next year, I should imagine. Um, but uh, yeah, that is that was always the plan was to play it in London, to play it anywhere where anyone will have us, and I mean internationally, you know. So yeah. You can see Banksy, the Room and the Elephant at 1pm at Pleasance Courtyard all the way until the end of the Fringe Run. That's right, we're there all the way to the end except for the 13th of August and the 19th of August. Other than that, we've only got two days two days off, but we're, we're working hard. And it, I think it's sold out today, so book your tickets Yeah, we, Yeah, it's picking, it's picking up, so get in there, absolutely, yeah. Brilliant, thank you very much.